Welcome back to Atlanta, you guys. Thank, Thank you, you so Good much. To be back. When you were here filming, did you actually get to go out and hang out in the city, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, I went to a Braves game. We went to a NASCAR event. Uh, NASCAR. NASCAR. We, um, <laughs> yeah, we s saw the nightlife quite a bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I went to Murphy's in the Highlands. Cool. Nice. Like Great every place. Sunday. Yeah. What so. was it like filming in Georgia? Because y'all spent a lot of time here filming Footloose. What was it like filming in Georgia instead of like in L.A. or Hollywood? I think it was great to get out of L.A. to shoot so you could really just focus and, you know, not have all your friends hitting you up. It was it was a kind of an escape to the mm -hmm. world of Footloose, so it was we, great to come here. Yeah, we felt like we were kind of on summer camp, too, because mm -hmm. it was like all of us were together, and then we were all kind of like not roommates, but we were all kind of in the same area and those were our friends and we would hang out all the time. And then when we were actually on set, it'd be like an hour and a half outside of Atlanta. So, I mean, we were literally stuck where we were. So it was like, we really got to know each other very well. <laughs> There's gotta be a little bit of niceness in that. You don't have to worry about paparazzi popping yeah. up all over the place here, right? Well, yeah, well, they just... don't know me, so I'm fine. <laughs> she has to deal well, with no, it. Well, no, no, no. Like I just did a movie in Miami and it was the most insane paparazzi I've ever seen in my really? life. And I was like, thank god like we that didn't have that at all like it was yeah. so nice it's to awkward. just like focus on the work and not have this awkward like because they were there like when we were shooting so like mm -hmm. it was yeah nice to be able to just focus on is the miami movie as and bad as la she get a pellet gun. um it's actually <laughs> worse i think is miami's is worse than la yeah why because the they're machine? sneaky and they just don't yeah. stop yeah yeah and plus you have to deal with the humidity with the hair and that's just <laughs> that never helps exactly <laughs> are you at a point now where like if you're walking down the street you're constantly sort of gauging if there's anybody around taking pictures no 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 i don't think since so. we've been traveling cassie with her. clicks the shutter in the yeah. back as she's yeah playing. i heard that that was awesome it's good timing cassie Perfect well timing. done <laughs> since we've been traveling since i've been traveling with her i notice there's people at airports and hotels kind of just you can see them they have no bags they're just kind of creeping, waiting for mm -hmm. her, and then residual effect, I sign one too, so they make me feel <laughs> special. <laughs> so now, Kenny, you play Ren, the main character in the movie, um, among, you know, Ariel, and you and Miles, who plays Willard, mm -hmm. Ren and Willard become like BFF in the movie, and yeah. you and Miles actually, like you guys are BFF yeah, and you hang out I all the time. Yeah, I definitely consider him one of my best friends. We met a couple months before shooting, and we got to hang out, you know, for those two months prior to coming to Georgia, and we just hit it off really well. So it was great to have a friend down there, and also I think it helps on screen, you know, the camaraderie, the friendship, you know, reads through. And uh, yeah, we had a blast. It was, it was great. He's an amazing actor, and he's going to keep going. So keep he's an eye hilarious. out for him. He was great. Yeah, he's movie, awesome. Yeah. This being a remake film, was there any added pressure to keep with the original and how the original cast members acted, or did you really want to make it your own? I think at the beginning, there's obviously pressure, but um, you know, going into it, we, we definitely felt like we knew this movie to the T. Like growing up, both Kenny and I loved this movie, and we are diehard, you know, uh, Footloose fans too. So. One, we were like everybody else, a little skeptical about a remake, but at the same time, it was like, all right, we're gonna make, we have Craig Brewer, who is genius and really had our backs and um, knew how to make the story fit to this generation without losing anything that anybody loved from the original. So knowing that, we could really just like not mimic, not mm -hmm. copy and not spoof on any kind of like thing that they did. And we really made it our own, I think. And uh, I, I think too, like Craig, he expanded so much uh, about the characters and, and just kind of their life that there was so much more depth uh, for my character, Ariel, with her dad. And so there wasn't really anything that I could pull from anyway from the original. Like I really had to draw that from, um, you know, this character and this, this script. So how long did it take you, you guys to decide <laughs> that you were going to do the movie? Because you, know, you must be looking at it and you're like, okay, it's a remake and it's a classic. Do I really want to do this or not? Was it an instant decision? Or instant, like, bro. They called no me and said, you got it. I was going to be like, hmm, should I do this big Paramount <laughs> film? Of course. Like you're on it. Yeah. I know it was maybe a little... Mine's a little different just because I, I was offered the role when it was going to be a musical. And I was like, oh, sweet. You know, that's cool. Get, you know, I, we'll see how well it does. But, you know, remakes can always be a little mm -hmm. funky. But then I'll get my foot in the door for, you know, other things I want to do, more dramatic stuff. So I did it. And then, like, everybody started, like, falling out and not wanting to do it. And, and then, like, they... they decided to go a different direction. And before I read the script that Craig Brewer wrote, I was like, oh, maybe I should. Everybody's kind of falling out. This isn't feeling right. I don't know about the script and all that. And then I read his version, I was, and I was like, oh my gosh, okay. 
I definitely have to do this one. This is not just a launching pad now. This is actually something that I'm going to be proud of. And um, I definitely had to fight for my, 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 my role because he, you know, he had the choice to, to find his own cast. So. Did you both see the original before uh, the remake opportunity was on your radar? Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. I'd seen it probably a hundred times. Me too. You know, Watch that warehouse scene over and over and over <laughs> again. I used to I used to get made fun of for dancing, and that was one of the scenes that made me like uh, go to school and be like, yeah, did you see Kevin Bacon dancing? He's cool. Like It was one of those kind of movies that you just watched all the time as a kid, growing up a dancer especially. Wendy's boyfriend is a dancer, and he's, mm-hmm. he went through the same thing as a kid. Yeah, we're both ballroom dancers, so oh, I was cool. just um, curious. Do I smell a battle? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm curious. I got my judges paddles. Dang it. I didn't bring my, my glitter costume or anything like that. No, but I want to know how long it took you guys in choreography because there's a lot of dancing throughout the entire movie. Like, how long do you guys spend beforehand well, before well, filming? Well, we learned, we learned all of our chunks uh, of choreography prior to shooting okay. because while we were shooting during the week, the dancers would then come in for the upcoming scene and learn the stuff. Mm-hmm. Then on Saturdays, which was our only day to actually rehearse with the dancers, they'd input us into what they had been doing all week. So yeah, a ton of hours went into it by the end, but it was a blast. And I, you know, I come from the dance world, mm-hmm. as you do as well. So to have some friends even from LA book the job as a dancer and hang out with them, and it was a blast and it was fun. And, you know, yeah. Could was it fun for you, Julianne, to be a dancer and then finally your first major role as the lead actress <laughs> is in a dancing film? How is that? I mean, it's, it's great. I always say that it was like the perfect transition mm-hmm. to kind of, you know, d- go into this, this film industry. And, uh, but the funny thing about this movie and me dancing is that I don't really dance as hard as I probably could have, you know, right. or as like, uh, as well as I probably could. Like I, as perfect. Yeah, as perfect as I could have. Like, I really kind of toned it down a little bit, toned down the hairography, as Craig Brewer and I would call it, because I tend to whip my hair a little bit. Um, And so, um, yeah, definitely kind of toned it down a little bit. I was really focusing on making sure the acting was was there and and really wanted my fans who know me as a dancer already to, to see this different side of me. Cool. Wendy is very insecure about her feet because oh, she's a dancer. <laughs> and you, you two may be the only ones that she's not no, insecure not. about her feet because she is a dancer. And I wanted her to show you her is feet. It like black Do just it, style. No, just it is so bad. Is, they're so bad. Just right? so you, know, you can. When you get the spray tan, the spray yeah. tan, it takes forever to come off your toes. Just it so you can assure her that yeah. they're not yeah. bad or confirm that well, they, they really look are. good. They, just show them within the shoe. They love the shoes. Take one of the shoes off. Come on, let's see. Uh, <laughs> now, as dancers' feet go, are mine, these good, mine are black, fairly jacked so up, just, or really bad? Wendy, like, they're, they're, they're actually <laughs> fine. They're no, not yeah. bad at all, dude. They're cool. They are, I've no, seen way are, worse feet. They're just being yes, really definitely. sweet. No, I, yeah. I come from uh, the dance studio world. I mean, we do ballet, and the girls are wearing point shoes, and when they take those off, it's yeah, those it's look beautiful it's compared to some of those. So, totally. y'all are really, really. So that's sweet. not a deal breaker in a relationship. But are we talking about smell? Because I definitely got a little. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Sorry. Works on all the fellas usually. <laughs> I was one of the lucky few that got to see the. I was at the screening last night. I know. Night. I saw you last night. Actually, I was at the screening last night. You're and so I, beautiful. So I remember you're seeing oh, you. You're so. very sweet. What do your feet look like? Oh, see, I just got <laughs> a petty baby. They're all men. Now those are jacked up. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I don't know how and to I dance have, to like, save my life. Toes. That, you guys have like these like little long toes. <laughs> wow. And all the like the pressure of the shoe. Hang on. I gotta show my. Like, I love how everybody's like not definitely not showing my feet. Guys, keep the shoes on. Right. Yeah. Uh, but I have to say, I because I, you know, obviously I was a big fan of the original as well, and had you know seen it many, many times. And I love how Craig brought back like the little nuances of the original with the VW bug and the red boots. Yeah. Who made the red boots? Do you know the designer? Fry. Fry boots. Yeah. In fact, all of the boots that I wore in Footloose were Fry, and all of the jeans that I wore wore Levi. Yeah. That, and was, that was my question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I've been waiting to try Because you are going to be responsible for a yeah. huge upsell in red boots as soon as this movie comes out. Just I so hope you know. so. By the way, I actually I need to keep those. I don't have them. Oh, you have I think to. they like they you keep all LJ. the yeah they keep all the the clothes and everything just in case you have to do reshoots. But now you know the movie's coming you out. You need I the gotta shoes. Take them. You need the tie. Yeah. Yeah, the, the red jacket. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I tried to get one of the bugs, the the Volkswagens, but wouldn't buy it, huh? The producer <laughs> took it and I think Craig took the uh the extra one, but <laughs> they're well, easy th- to steal, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your time, guys. I'm sure yeah. the movie's oh, going to yeah. be a big old hit. Thank and, you. And uh, yeah. congratulations. Footloose and it opens October 14th. October 14th. I got it down pat. Thank you, guys. <laughs> 
Real, real, funny, funny. The Bird Show.